Hi everybody, welcome to this week's vlog. Well, where do I start? Usually I film this Sunday morning. So usually I go to the gym and I usually think about the things I wanted to say. And for the first time in a long time, I went to the gym and I went, what do I talk about today? Or usually I have the subject kind of figured out. But I, I really sat and I thought, and it came to me that uh, how much I hurt this channel. And before everybody thinks this is a pity party or something like that, or leave some ridiculous comment that, oh my God, you know, take a break, this, that, and the other. That's not what this is about. I, 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 I want to go back a little bit and I want to I wanna talk more or less around April, May. I was not feeling burnt out, but I was burnt out from painting. I mean, I had painted over just right about then I think it was like 9,000 um, 9,000 uh, miniatures for almost almost 200 patrons at the, at the time and it, it was very difficult during that time or during this last year of doing this that I basically had to pick out things so maybe somebody qualified in in October or something I would pick something out that I can actually physically get done because I was just you get that block and there's certain things that you just can't pick up and paint but I started you know this is kind of going all over the place but but you'll see the, where we're going and I was really feeling that right around April May that I said okay you know something I'm gonna go to December 31st and uh, of this year and end it and that's it and I'll, I'll make a video every once in a while this is too much work uh, and, and for why well when I thought about it I said well no I can't stop you know it, it really comes down to helping people and we've done that and we continue to do that uh, each and every day another thing I want to apologize for not doing the patron episode on Tuesday we were having Comcast out uh, we had some severe um, internet issues which seems to be the uh, ongoing onslaught all the time but we're working through it and we are doing uh, videos and then I, I was thinking while I was at the gym today um, also about how last night went uh, we did faux hunters it was three hours and, and it was just it was such a struggle it was painful um, it didn't translate well and it's those moments you become very insecure and you go and you start to look at things a little differently and that kinda kinda affected me because after we got off I, I turned to Tina and I said Tina boy that was horrible why didn't we just do folklore well because we're waiting for something to come in from for folklore that I think is going to enhance our folklore and hopefully it all pans out also you know we could have done fallen lands we've been looking to do that if we were going to take three hours I felt we could have done a lot of different things and you start to second guess yourself a lot and that's exactly what happened was I started second guessing myself and back in May I started second guessing myself as I started going to the conventions uh, origins and 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 Gen Con you know it made me even second guess myself even more especially particularly origins where I was pretty much by myself running around like a fool and I'm going well I, I have no friends in this business I have absolutely no friends in this business I have you know my son is moving on uh, you, you know he has his life and everything my daughter has her life EMT and and doing all the things that she does and I'm pretty much by myself what am I doing? I have all this and nobody to share it with. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. And the thing that that I also thought about was, you know, you start looking at the channel. You know, it, it, it doesn't grow. It, people come in, people leave. That's a natural progression, no matter how you look at it. But I also started thinking of how much I cause that by not you know being like one of these newfangled guys that 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 are going to sit there and and give you all this professional stuff and do the latest game and i i just i'm just not that guy i i'm not interested 
in a lot of the later things. And when I went to Origins, how many things were there that, that really interested me? Well, there were a few. There were a few. When I went to Gen Con, there were a few. And I sent home a ton of stuff. And I'm interested in a lot of stuff. I mean, we've got Killzone. We'll be talking about that sooner than later. Um, and a ton of other things. And, you know, all these things and everything. And I just decided at that point, and we talked about this at, at a point, that I was just going to do the things that I like to do. Well, the things that really saved the channel, as much as I hurt the channel, are the girls. Okay? And, and, and the girls have, have done so much, and I mean by, um, I just got back from the gym, so. Um, the girls have, have gotten me straightened out, you know, are getting me on task. They've helped a lot because it started to get overwhelming to some degree. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, the one thing that I always did is a lot of people leave a curtain up. This curtain has always been see-through, and even when I pull it back, it's, uh, you're not showing you much because I'm, you can sense it, you can feel it, you can feel when I'm energetic about something, you can also feel when I just don't feel feel a certain way for something. And that's one of the things that about my channel that I enjoy doing. Number one, we get to help people. Number two, I'm, j I'm just sitting here. Listen, I don't have anybody around here. I don't have anybody for at least an hour to two hours that I can hang out with. There's nobody. I have no friends, nothing. So, and not a pity party, so stop. But, but there's nobody I can just share all this with and go, hey, come over and let's just play this massive, massive thing. I mean, this, I mean, the best way to do it is just kind of show you just one aisle, one aisle. And that's just one aisle, okay? That's just one aisle where it's just absolutely uh, insanity. So, you know, there is always a lot going on on this channel, always. And, and, and there's always going to be because we have so much stuff. We have tons and tons of stuff. And that's just one aisle, okay? There's three other aisles just filled and filled with games. And being able to go through and just go, oh, what's that? has revivalized things but the real things that have really brought things back was finding good friends and Tina coming in and helping me has really breathed a lot of life into things and undead Viking how can I, how can I say anything more about Lance um, meeting him and just realizing that we're almost kind of like the same person in a way only he's a lot more popular um, he's just a great guy. We spend a lot of time talking on the phone. Uh, all the all the people from Board Game Geek that I, I had a chance to meet. Um, finally, getting to talk to um, uh, the Secret Cabal, um, Chaz, um, Rodney, uh, Marty, Tony, all all these guys. And, and realizing that I do have some some people, some friends out in this business, and, and it does make a big difference. And it kind of breathed new life into me. I've always been driven, and I, and the thing that's helped me is, you know, having Tina here all the time now and talking with her and being a lot closer with her, we've always been the best of friends, and now that she's kind of settled, having her around is inspiring because I'm constantly, I found new vigor in picking up a paintbrush because I'm like, okay, let's get all this, this patron stuff done because I also want to paint this because I really think that Tina's going to like and play this. So I pull out myth or I pulled out folklore and we found this wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, and, and, and just going through here and saying, oh, I want to learn that because I think it'd be great on camera. We're going to try a lot of different things. We're going to fail at, at some things. Last night, I, I think, was a total failure. Um, it was actually something that I just sat there and I went, oh, God, this this is horrible. But, you know, what do I know? You know, we're never going to be professional. We're never going to be a lot of things. And that's because of me. And I hold this channel back. But is that such a bad thing? Is it? I don't think so. Um, I think in some ways where they bring so much and the, and the and me not knowing 
technology as well and 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 graphics and and being able to do the cult of the new I just, I just don't have an interest in trying to keep up with the Joneses I really don't and I talked about it last week but I wanted to really hit it home that this is not the place for it this isn't the place for it there's so many better places that, that do things so much better and we're just a middle of the road little channel that is going to keep on just plugging along and being us pulling back the curtain seeing who we are doing different things being innovative not not doing the same old formula over and over again I'm not going to sit there and, and, and break things down to eat. I know that, that a lot of people want to see that there's so many other places that do it and there's so many channels and every day there's there's like another 20 people buying t-shirts and making coffee cups and calling themselves a channel that's all fine and dandy for me for me it's just about picking something up and looking at it and going well you know something I can teach somebody something by showing them how to do this and paint this and why is it spray painted black well there's a reason for it and talk about that and those are the things that I think I excel at is being able to teach being able I, you don't have to be a master to teach you just have to have the ability to get people to do the basics and then find the masters to become masterful it's all it's often said that the student always outdoes the teacher and that's what my mission is on this channel is to show you something maybe goof it up <laughs> not do it correctly and then just kinda guide you along the way now yesterday you know wasn't a very good start but uh, I'll tell you that uh, tell you this uh, it's Sunday maybe we get a chance to play something else and I'm going to talk to Miss Tina and we're going to see what we're going to come up with or maybe I'm just going to do something solo if she's busy we're just going to keep plugging along we have a lot going on this week we have so much going on this week I'm very excited about it we've got a bunch of videos made we're going to be talking about a bunch of things we're going to have a bunch of live stuff and most of all we're just going to be doing things with the people that we care about and thank you Larissa thank you Helen thank you Tina you all three of you mean the world to me and I want to thank Lance for being such a good friend um, he was thinking about us out at a trade show and talked to some people on our behalf because I've never been somebody to go to a convention and sit there and get hammered and and try to do big business uh, someplace you know it's just not me I'm in when I go to a convention, it's film, 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 get to the hotel room, try to upload as much as I can because I always feel for the people that are out there that don't get to go to these conventions. And, you know, when I used to see all of these people go to the conventions, I wanted to make, to make them feel like they were with me. And that's what I try to do when I go to conventions. The other thing is, uh, another reason I don't do try to kick out a lot of these newer games is, let's take Shadows of Brimstone, uh, the new Forbidden Fortress right now. Why haven't you seen a live play? I'll tell you why. Because I never want to feel that I'm shoving something in your face. Okay? Oh, look what I have. Now, I painted and I made a, a, a really good blueprint for you guys. Okay, so when that game comes out in October, you have a blueprint. Maybe you want to follow my blueprint, or maybe you want to take my blueprint and go, mm, you know something, that doesn't work for me. Let me do something else. And that's the kind of things that I'm trying to accomplish when I do that. We're going to do a live playthrough of it, but I want to do it closer to when you can get it. Because there's nothing worse than seeing something and you can't get your hands on it. Or a Kickstarter and go, Oh my God, you know, I always feel bad when they go, oh, well, I'm waiting for my Kickstarter still. And I don't know that because I'm not up on all the business news the way everybody else is. I always feel bad because I go, oh God, there's somebody, somebody's out there waiting for their stuff. And this is why I've always been hesitant about Kickstarter. Why am I able to get it retail or at a convention when you guys are waiting so long for it? 
I always try to take your feelings into account, and I really do because it means something to me. A lot yeah. of you mean something to me, and 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 that's why I think some of you come yeah. back, and why also some of you leave is because the way I do things. I hurt the channel, but sometimes I help the channel. But the real help is those girls. I couldn't have done it without them, and I can't do it without them. And I hope they stay a long time because they really helped me through the tough moments that I always have. Because this is a lot of work. When you work all day and then you come home and you put six, seven hours into something, it's, it's tough. It's tough. No rest for the wicked. Well, oh, yeah, we have that. No rest for the wicked. For the side. We'll be painting that soon. And I feel that, and I feel it inside. And I'm not exhausted, I'm not burnt out, I am obsessed with this channel. I am obsessed with doing what I do. I'm obsessed with, with gaming and painting things and doing things. This is who I am, this is what I do. This is my way to get through my day, is my excitement to come home and turn this camera on and see what I can do. We do almost a video a day, and I think it's a, a, a very good thing, and also in a lot of ways detrimental at times, uh, because you can start to feel worn, and I don't want to feel that way. I just want to have fun. So, yeah, do what I want, this, that, the other. Save, save the comments. Believe me, I know it, and I appreciate it, and it means a lot to me. But the real truth is, take the time and thank the girls. Thank the girls for all they do. They do a fantastic job. Go check out the Undead Viking. Go check out Board Game Geek TV. They do a wonderful job. All the people I got to meet there and realize how, how things should be done. They do it the best and they're fantastic. And Aldi is a fantastic leader. A great leader. And all the other wonderful channels out there. The Great Podcast, The Secret Cabal, Rolling Dice Taking Names, Rodney, uh, Joel, all these wonderful people who I, I'm, I'm able to pick their brain now and, and talk to them and, and that's given me some renewed spirit and I'm very thankful for it. <sighs> we got a lot going on. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob thanking you for watching this and until next time, we'll see you soon.